Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to create a basic tooltip for a custom item. Um, now to begin this tutorial I'm starting off with the source code from my custom item textures tutorial. You can go ahead and download the source code from there or just use uh, whatever code you might have um, in your mod. But let's go ahead and get started. Now the way we do this, um, I'm inside of my item tutorial uh, class, and it's a single method. It's going to be at side only, side dot client, and the method is public void add information item stack item stack entity player, uh, and this will be player. Um, and then we have, let's see, list, and this will be uh, data list. And then we have boolean, boolean, and I don't know what this one does, uh, to be quite honest, so I'm just going to call it bool. So now we have to import everything that we haven't imported already. And... Okay. Uh, the list is going to be from java.util, not java.awt. Uh, this list, I believe, is for uh, Java GUIs. This list is for storing data. So now that we have our method set up, it's actually really, really simple, um, assuming you're only doing a basic tooltip that doesn't have any variables, to add our information. All we're going to have to say is data list dot add. And then we're going to add a line of data. So I could say this is a line. Um, and this would add a single line of data underneath our item name, and it would be this is a line. If we added to add, if we wanted to add a second line, we could say data list dot add. And we'll say this is another line. And you could go um, on so on and so forth. Now if you wanted to have say um, data about the player you might use this player variable. Um, if you had variables that you set for your item or for blocks in the area then you would probably want to use something called nbt. Um, and nbt is a bit complicated. It's used for saving data with Minecraft um, and I will be talking about it in a tutorial at some point. I'm not sure how soon that tutorial is uh, because, again, it is a very complicated topic. But if we go ahead and run the game now with our very basic um, tooltip, and we go into our new world, then you'll see if we hover over the item, it, we have this is a line and this is another line. Um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. It was a pretty simple topic, um, except I had not really found any other tutorials on it. Um, in the future, I do intend to figure out how to make like multicolored tooltips, but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Source code is in the description as usual, and I will see you next time. Bye.